hello good evening to everyone in last class we discuss about the coordinate conjunction and we completed all the exercise today we are going to see about the subordinate conjunction first of all we have to know that what is subordinate conjunction a subordinate conjunction is one that joins two clauses of unequal rank one being subordinate to the other student in coordinate con conjunction we got that that it is to join of equal rank but in subordinate conjunction uh, clauses two clauses is to join of unequal rank and in coordinate conjunction we got there are four types of coordinate conjunction they are cumulative conjunction alternative conjunction adversative conjunction and relative conjunction but in subordinate conjunction the conjunction may express time place manner comparison cause result purpose and a condition or contrast so student first we have to know that um subordinate conjunction of a time now it will tell you time i do not know when my brother will come to our home wait here until he returns he went to school before me so here we are joining two sentences with the help of the time so student you see the example wait here till i return leave the room before my daddy comes i shall write to you when i reach agra the doctor came after the patient had died make hay while the sun shines i shall walk hard when uh, i appear in the test now student you see you see your book that is page number 222 that all the bold letters all the bold letters that used to denotes the time so the words which denotes the time is known as subordinate conjunction of time now next we are going to see is place subordinate conjunction of place I do not know where I kept my pen. My brother does not know whither to go. He will come wherever he want me to come. I shall follow you. wherever you go so student you see wherever where with the all these words showing the place so these are known as what subordinate conjunction of place where with the wherever so these words will tell you or show you the place and by these words we are joining two sentences now next is what manner or extent you shall reap as you sow he is as he is a good man as i know him she acted as i told her this is how you should do it here as how they denotes manner or extent so those words are known as subordinate conjunction of manner or extent 
now comparison student comparison you know only we have to compare with one another now he is bold as a lion Razu is taller than me Mohan is black as a coal he is as white as snow here as then these are showing or these are denoting comparison so these words are known as subordinate conjunction of comparison now next we have to see you see next page that is 223 and that is what goes I stood first because I walked very hard. I could not come to you since I was unwell. I was absent for I was down with fever. Here because since for they are denoting the cause or the reason. So these conjunctions are known as coordinate conjunction of cause now next result he is so tired he cannot work anymore this is such a fault that nobody can pardon it we eat that we may live here that the word that is a subordinate connection conjunction that denotes result so it is subordinate conjunction of result next you see purpose he walked hard so that he might pass walk fast least you should miss the train here the word so first least they are denoting or they are showing the purpose so these conjunctions are known as subordinate conjunction of purpose next is condition we shall go for a walk if it is fine you cannot succeed unless you walk hard you will get the job provided he helps you I shall not help you unless you behave yourself. Here if unless provided these words are denoting condition. So these words are known as subordinate conjunction of condition. Now last one is contrast. He is honest though he is poor. He cannot pass however hard he may try. Here though however they are denoting contrast. So these conjunctions are known as subordinate conjunction of contrast. Now student you have to see the conjunction which is to fall in time, which is to fall in place, which is to fall in manner or extent, which is to fall in comparison, which is to fall in cause which is to fall in result, purpose, condition, contrast. And you have to remember the words very carefully that which words used to fall in result, which falls in condition, which falls in time, which falls in place, manner or extent or which falls in comparison. Now student, you have to know that till, before, when, after, until, this will show you the time wherever where whither this will show you the place as how this will show you the manner or extent as then this will show you the comparison because since for this will show you the cause that will show you the result so that least this will show you the purpose um, if unless provided uh, this will show you the condition though however 
this will show you the uh, contrast so uh, you have to read two three times it very clearly and if you will read two three times very clearly and try to remember the words which is to fall in um, which conjunction then it will be very clear to you so i think you understand the chapter and if you have any doubt you try to clear it and and please suppose i'll give a sentence to you uh, i do not know where to go then you have to know that where is there so you have to know that it will be a subordinate conjunction of place again one more sentence i'm telling he is as fat he is as bold as he is bold as ram so from the word as you have to understand that it is comparison because comparison is done after the next you to see i was absent because of my sickness so from the word because you will understand that it is cause after that you see i shall help him if he gives me money so if then you have to understand that it is condition now next one you see he cannot pass however he may try so from the word however you may you will have to understand that it is contrast so student um we are going to end our class with this only in the next class we'll do the exercise thank you